Ucha, we appreciate y'all for continuing to come by at the Garden of Treats and come learn and see what we got going on with the Love Always Foundation, the Tree of Treats Foundation, and also what we're doing with our youth program. And so we appreciate y'all much. So make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're new here, we appreciate you for keep coming back and make sure you like this video and share with those that you care about. We out. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't checked the coop in a while. Look at all these eggs, y'all. Oh my, there's probably more too. I gotta check over here. Got the weather band going back and forth. Holy moly, look at all these eggs. They probably been sitting on these eggs for a minute. But yeah, let me uh so I'm gonna get them some water. Some fresh water right here. Nothing but a little copper in there, that'd be all right. A little iron, that'd be all right. They tough chickens. As you can see, they clean pretty well. So they got a water there, a water there. Gotta keep them a water inside of this coop also. It's winter time, but spring is uh, New Year on the horizon, so the water won't be freezing for too much longer, but I make sure, oh wait, before I put that back in, let me collect these eggs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, cool little dozen. Cool little dozen eggs. All right. All right, y'all. Yes, indeed. The grow tower is going back up. The things that you can grow indoor are incredible. And so this right here is the lettuce grow tower. And we're going to grow so many beautiful, high dense mineral foods inside of this thing right here. Uh, tap in tonight at 9 p.m. on a garden of treats. We will be filling this up with seeds and soil and pull up to us and come check it out. Pull up on me. So we got to fill up the lettuce grow tower and Katara done put a hole. That's Katara and she put a hole in it. So I got to make sure at least this whole part gets into the tank. What's up, girl? It's a good hose too. UV uh, protected. I can say dogs are a lot. Promise you. They just came from out their house. Their house is inside of the, the shed. Straight juice, baby. This is the white willow tree. She's so gorgeous. All right, so I have to find. Hey, hey, go, ah, ah. We'll get off her. It ain't time, you got about two years. Oh yeah, we just found out we're having another baby girl. Right. Drop some names below, which I think we should name her. We got some names in mind. Bro, get, get off of her. Stop. There we go, right there. So that part all has to go in there. Let's go. All right, in we go. Kind of a lot to fit in there. So I really make it fit. Just stuff her. It's right there. So right now what she's doing, she's hooking up the, uh, that's the seal, so the cord can stay nice and dry. And so she's, hi, ucha, putting together that. And I can grab this other piece. Oh, you have it? All right, cool. All 
All right, so we don't gotta plug it in yet. We can just set it up. Let me see. Yeah, use the muscles, girl. Oh, yeah. Nice. Good job. And so, let's see. Ooh, just like that. Keep the water in there. I got the spouse thing up on the top bar already. So she stick the cords in there. Good job, mama. <laughs> Say good job, mama. Good job, mama. Y'all look this way. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, you looking cute, girl. You looking pretty. Y'all, my ladies looking pretty. All three of y'all. Yeah, it's a girl, y'all. It is a girl. Look at the puppies. Woo. Woo. Katara. And then Bella B. You gotta make sure you put her in the spot, y'all water, because once she sets, she set. Make sure she ain't too close to the wall right there. She got some space to grow. Hi, Marley. Hi. Hey, give me five. Ah, you gonna give me 10? Are you happy having a baby sister? <laughs> oh yeah, she filling up. Nice, nice. So we stuffed this yesterday. If you was on our live yesterday, what beautiful plants we use cocoa core. You see it, Marley? Here, look at me. Look at me. My eye. Look at me. Look at me one more time. Look at me. All right, cool. Let me see. All right, she's filling up. Hold on. Yeah, she in there. Turn the water hose off soon. We might get some new water hose because putting this whole piece of thing in there, that's a lot. Sorry, baby. You said, What about her biting it? Hmm? What about her biting it? I she, did, yeah. she did. You see how much I probably got about eight foot of hose inside of the uh, the tank. getting heavy now but yeah she about to drink up they still got a little moisture in them which is good let me see it they say what wealth look like i said look like this they say what's in your box i said wealthy see got what you need print in money yes indeed get your seeds up generational wealth let's get it Abundance is all within us and always will be. So we got these heat lamps right here. We got two of these. We got from a uh, tractor supply and we're gonna put them inside of our shed where our dogs sleep at. These are the two lamps that heat up, get it warm. And cause it's been so cold, it's about 30 degrees in there. And once we put both of these uh, heat lamps in there, it should get it up to at least a lot warmer. At least uh, we're gonna put it underneath where they sleep at and so it can keep them a lot warmer uh, than what it is out there. Even though they, I know they're dogs, you know, they can stay warm themselves, but you just gotta take extra precaution. And so for two of those and these lamps, that it was for both of those lamps and the lights, $35. Tax zero dollars. Tax exempt, baby. So we got the first of them so they can they sleep like on these chairs right here, as you can see. So they can be nice and warm. They got a door right there. I'm gonna put two right there. See some hay that fell out right here. The wind has been going crazy. So I just use the hay to cover up most of the cracks. So it's less wind breezy as possible. And outside this door right here, I got hay balls, so. Let's hook the uh, other one up. So yeah, 
I gotta find this camera that they dropped in here because it has a temperature on it. I gotta find. All right, what's up, buddy? All right, we got them set up. Let's see how warm we get. Yeah. Have a seat. Y'all both can sleep right there. It's been so cold out. The damn truck battery died. But this right here is a beast. You just got to plug it in. At first, I had I put it on repair. And then once the battery clicked over, I put it on supply. And I had it charge for about 10 minutes. And the other thing I got to fix, it got dang on door handle, but I seen how to fix it. It say, let me see. You gotta pull the door handle. Let me put the phone right here. Pull the door handle to release it. What it kind of say? Oh, we got it. Bop, bop. Oh, there we go. Oh, we fixed it. Oh, let's see if we... Oh, we fixed it. Oh, good. All right, let's see if the car starting now. All right, one thing fixed. Let's see if she... Oh. Here's my office meter. Yeah. No, not yet. Woo wee! I got Big Green started. I had to pull around another car to get it started. But it is so cold outside, y'all. It's so cold outside. This don't make no sense. This don't make no sense at all. But I got to start it up. Now I'm gonna let it run for about five, 10. I'm gonna let it run for about 10 minutes because since it's been so cold and I was just driving it Friday and the battery got juiced down that quick, which is crazy. So. I'm gonna let it juice up for about 10, 10 minutes and then we can go from there. But it is cold outside, y'all. You know what I'm gonna do? Well, the barn, we was thinking, we was talking to my wife and we was talking about putting it, putting big greens in the barn because we drive it every now and then. But it's just as cold in there. What, the wind isn't as bad, but it is cold. But we shall see, we shall see. All right, y'all. We on to the next project. Ucha! Just remember that you are divine and remember you are a creator. But the only way to be an efficient creator is to be a solution-based being. Solution, solution, solutions. And just know if you felt that you spent too much money on food this following year, the growing season is approaching. So what can we do as a solution to reduce our cost of food consumption. We can grow the foods that we eat the most. If you like peppers, get you some pepper seeds, tomato <laughs> seeds. Solution-based beings. You must participate in your life. When you participate in your life, you thrive. All is mine, the universe is mental. You create the reality that you live in and you are it. You gotta get y'all some country friends. My dog Charlie about to help me out. Yeah, yeah you could. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it right there. You could pull right back up to her. So, what are we gonna do this year, y'all? Gonna... Woo, it's cold out here, y'all. So, first, what we gotta do is we gotta raise it. Oh, that's the wrong way. We gotta raise her up quite a way so she can fit on there. We gotta, so we gotta get her out the snow. And we're moving it because the grass is frozen. And we don't wanna do a turn near the wet season. Reason being, oh, oh. Go up a little bit. Up just a little bit. One second. Let me raise it up a little more. And you can pull the wheel that way. Just a tad bit. Just an inch. 
Not much. Yep, that's spot on. Come back other way, other way. All right, up. All right, you should be, one second, one second. We definitely should have picked a warmer day. I appreciate you, Charlie. All right. She back on there. Charlie got the skills, man. Great wisdom. I really appreciate you. There's your truck. Yep, yep. Yep, you can keep coming straight back. Good job. Straight back, straight back. Keep coming, keep coming. Perfect. All right. We had to get them legs up. They were stuck. He had a trick. Now we can crank her down. But first, put this log under there. It's locked like this on the bottom of the lip. Pop the top off like that. And I like to put a piece of wood down there just so it don't slide around. It's cold out here, y'all. And so it should raise right up off of there. Clip right there. It's been so cold that these bottles bust in the food truck. So I'm out here cleaning it up. Oh man. And so since some of it is still frozen, it's garbage. I'm sweeping it out and I'm gonna lay this towel down. And so when it do get at least warm enough for it to thaw out, <clears throat> the floor isn't all wet. Cause you see, it's, it's like up on the freezer right there. See all that? Here's the glass. The glass broke. So, just cleaning it up. And then I'm gonna put this towel down so the floor don't get wet. Charlie was telling me that you could take an old oil pan, put it over this so it don't get wet. So, I got these five gallon green buckets so no water doesn't get inside of the, the jack. So, cover that up them five gallon green bucks are coming handy y'all y'all better get y'all some straight juice baby we here this is the sandusky bridge let's see what they say up there this is a little sketchy this is this is a sketchy bridge i don't know about this what y'all think of this bridge you nervous baby Yes, I do not have your bridges. Come on, why are you driving so slow? Oh shit, no, no, no. Dang, this is, bridge shit, it's sturdy, baby. Where's our action at? <gasps> Let's see. Ooh wee, y'all see? Welcome, welcome to the party. It's getting gnarly. And one of the last things before we go, we want to make sure that y'all check out one of these seed books. Uh, this is the whole seed category book. You feel me? Uh, a lot of these seeds come from Baker Creek, but you can get a lot of your seeds from anywhere from the dollar store, from Home Depot, from Lowe's. Uh, most of our seeds are coming from our previous growing seasons. And so make sure that y'all got y'all seeds ready for the season. This book, guys, lots, lots, and lots, and lots of beautiful things in it. Ooh, sunflower seed. We're going to grow sunflowers. Reason being is because we're going to have a lot of feed for our chickens. Black seeds, all that good stuff. So, get y'all a category book and start y'all planning and preparation for this upcoming growing season that is already here.